Abelmostus Manihut, agroplants.org, also known as Ibica or Hibiscus Manihut. Uh, similar the name because Manihut it's also cassava name. Be aware that uh, the roots are uh, also edible and are also starchy like the cassava. Okay, so this sherb or hibiscus, uh, it's ever evergreen perennial, but in cl cold climate weather it will be a deciduous or an annual plant. And if you would like to grow it, there is a link below or above in the right side. And this is donation donation for the channel. Except this, don't forget to subscribe. It's a great donation too. So how to grow it? Uh, first, the climate. It can grow in the Mediterranean, subtropical, or temperate, or tropical. And hardiness zone will be as perennial as 10B+, or an annual can be from 5+. Plus. Uh, the leaves are edible, and the major reason to grow it, I would say, for the edible parts in this uh, plant, but mostly you grow it for the beautiful flowers. I know they are just beauty, but it's also edible, and it's not bad, actually. So, okay. The leaves are edible, and uh, the best to eat them will be uh, when they are young and fresh. Don't wait that it will be too much, uh, let's say, uh, fully, gr uh, fully grown it's good, but not too much old, because then they become chewy. When you have young leaves, uh, you can use them as a salad. And uh, when you have uh, fully grown, it's mostly for cooking, stir fry, stuffed leaf, uh, it's also nice. So be aware. And you can harvest it all the year in the tropical and in a colder place will be in the spring to the autumn. And the roots are also edible, edible sorry, and they can use uh, like cassava actually. Uh, so it's been cooked or even to make it something starchy from this. Uh, best season to harvest uh, as far as I understood and what I've done, it's in the autumn. Uh, the taste it's not very far from the cassava. This is, but uh, I have to say that I ate it very far away from the cassava. So it's remind me, but not exactly. Uh, okay, so I would say that uh, okay that also the seeds can be edible, and it's suitable for uh, like a coffee substitute. Uh, about the fruits, I don't know if they're edible. Uh, okra. Are edible and this is not a very far away uh, distance uh, family of this plant so I cannot tell and if you can tell me I would love it uh, I need more information about it uh, so I have it but I don't know if I can eat it so just let me know about it uh, information about how to grow it's important to keep uh, the soil well drained here the summer is very very hard so in this summer, I would highly recommend full sun, uh, like 75% of full sun. But in less hotter climate, full sun will be the best. Uh, it will grow uh, 1 to 2 meters, so it's been 40 to 80 inches. And the planting season will be in the spring to the autumn as perennial and spring uh, as an annual. Except this... Uh, it requires average amount of water and in a very hot days you should maybe add some shade and a little bit more water. Blooming season uh, will be from the spring to the autumn and the flowers as you can see are yellow bright beautiful flowers. Uh, in the middle it's brown purple and it's attract uh, bees so it's quite of nice. So the fruit, uh, actually the seeds, it's a uh, harvest season, will be in the summer to the autumn. And you can use it as I say, substitute for coffee or something like this. You can try, I don't like those kind of things, so I have to admit that I never tried and I always sow more, so I don't really use it. But uh, let me know how it is. It's take like five months to eight months in order. Uh, it's quite of easy plant to grow and highly recommend. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website. And of course, if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant. And this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy.
and come visit us again.